Here we're looking at gold, GLD, and we're starting to see a little bit of a bounce here. And what's interesting is we talked about our low target around this 100. We got very close to that. I think we hit 150 or something like that. And um, then we saw the bounce today. It seems like it's trying to bounce up a little bit. We saw a gap down prior to that. And a lot of times that's indicative of, a, of um, an exhaustion gap. You know, you know, these are the breakaways. You could see them, uh, but a lot of times that could be where you're starting to see uh, things exhaust a little bit. We have a lot of momentum it shows in this one bar here, but this probably will change obviously with this. Uh, but uh, we, if it can hold this hundred, you know, we may get the bounce up into the 103, maybe even 104 on this. Um, but I do think this is tr starting to turn uh, again. I, my preference would be to get it as close to 96. I don't know if we'll even see that low um, based upon what you know the the dynamics we're seeing it's very overextended um, but uh, if we were able to anywhere around there I still think you know um, it's not a bad uh, shot uh, based upon where we're at uh, you know you maybe three point lower um, you know before you find major resist uh, major support so I think it may uh, make sense to start to look a little bit toward the gold here um, as I as I said, we're, we're we're it's looking like we're seeing a final five taking place here, um, and we're starting to see its first little bounce up. We're not seeing it really break these prior swings, so of course uh, we're anticipating this to backfill a little bit. But any further advance here, and we could be looking at prices trying to recover a little bit.